Hello fellow aviators, my name is Chris Palmer. I am a master CFI instructor here at Angle of Attack in Alaska. And this is gonna be a really cool video because you get to see Sienna, who is a student pilot. I've been training her for a while now and many of you have been following along in that process. You've been able to see every step of the way. And she's at the point now where she's working intently on landings. And of course that means that we are in the traffic pattern, working hard and trying to get those little bits of knowledge, those little skills that help her nail those landings every time. Let's jump into this video and I'll tell you guys a little bit more. Alright guys, welcome to the video. So I really like videos like this because it's just me teaching a student pilot and of course Sienna's working toward her private pilot. She actually wants to do this as a career. And it's just cool because I get to just do my thing as a flight instructor and show you guys some behind the scenes of what it looks like. So how this is gonna go is you get to be a fly on the cockpit wall and we're gonna go jump in the airplane and you guys can just watch the whole process take place me teaching Sienna. In this particular case, things just really start coming together pattern work wise. And we are dealing with a little bit of wind and other things too. At sunset, winter time in Alaska, pretty cool. So there's lots of things to like here in this video. And I think you guys will really enjoy it. So let's go out to the airplane. what the air will feel like up here today. A little bumpy. Home radio, good afternoon. Uh, Sky 5651 Tango at Charlie with Juliet. Uh, for takeoff from way 4, it'll be eastbound departure. Okay, so you've done the takeoff. Let me do the pattern now, okay? And I just want you to observe, okay, this first one. Homer traffic, 242 from turning right crosswind runway 4, Homer. A little sporty out here today. I'm reaching my pattern altitude, so I'm already thinking about pulling back my power. Remember I said 2,000 RPM, RP, first notch of flaps. Two, three uniform, just turn cross on the downwind runway four. Remaining in the pattern. All right, I'll go after the Zenith ticket. Okay, so I got to stabilize oh, 80, Zenith, one notch of flaps, our beat on. Uh, Cessna on Alpha, are you ready to depart? So now we're just kind of cruising. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. So your head kind of stays in the game. Is you're on the controls. I'm going to help you with certain turns and a couple things, okay? Okay. Your controls. My controls. Your controls. When we have wind like this, we gotta kind of fight to keep the wings level. And we're gonna make sure we stay our distance from the runway. So we might have to fly that direction a little more. Looks like the wind might be pushing us out this way. So that means we fly more that way. And that's, uh, yeah, looking pretty good. So then I go through a checklist. RP gas undercarriage, which is fixed gear, mixture, set, prop, seatbelt, switches. All our switches are set for landing. Okay, so now we'll start to turn back toward. Hotel holding short at Charlie. Should be uniform, we got enough time for me, or how far out are you? Pull the power back a little bit more. All right, so we got one taken off, another one that wants to take off right behind him. And now we're just kind of judging how high we need to be. The issue right now is that we have the wind at our face and it's gonna try to hold us back from getting where we're going. So we actually have a little bit more power than usual, helping us do that. Let me pull the power back a little bit more. It feels like we're a little high. Should be good. All right, let's do second notch of flaps and we'll start to turn in the final. 
for traffic out there. Homer traffic, two three uniform turning final runway for Homer. Homer traffic, Zenith Niner for Robo Papa is right crosswind. Uh, I'll be departing to the south. And we're pretty high. So we talked about stabilized approaches in the hangar. Um, part of like an unstabilized approach would be like way too high and too fast trying to come in. So one thing I want to teach you here is a go around. Here, have we done a go around before? I think so. So a go around is basically like, hey, we're going to get out of here and we're going to try again. So um, it's kind of a three step process, power up, pitch up and clean up. And we're going to do so slowly and deliberately. We're going to keep flying the airplane. We'll say at some point we're just like, okay, we're going to go around. So uh, my controls. So I go power up. The airplane pitches up. The power up, pitch up. And clean up means cleaning up the flaps. You do so slowly, just one notch at a time. And then I'll do my next notch. Okay. There, you can fly that departure leg now. Homer traffic 2-3 uniform was a go around runway 4. Uh, we're tracking along center line, staying in the batter. Yeah, that's fighting you a little bit, huh? Yeah. And sometimes in like wind like this, I know we, we talk a lot about being smooth, and that's what we're going to be doing 99% of the time. But sometimes it's just a little rough, and so like we're turning it back like this, you know what I mean? To snap it back where we want. So we're already at pattern altitude. Go ahead and pull that power back smoothly. 2,000. Okay, the nose is going to want to come down. We're going to do car repeat. And we can turn while we do that. I'll do one notch flaps. Okay. Yep. Homer traffic, 2 3 uniform, turning right crosswind, runway 4, Homer. All right, and now here we kind of straighten out. We look at our runway, find the straight line for a second. A two four two three uniform. Just uh, be advised. Looks like we have a uh, flock of crows, murder of crows on approach. Oh, a short final. Okay, uh, keep an eye out for me, and I'll uh, watch out too. Just watching my altitude. I'm a couple hundred feet high. And I'm just making little adjustments. So I've done the main stuff, right? So we're all set up. We're flying at a good speed, but we are climbing just a little bit. So I'm I'm keeping a little less power so we can creep down. And then you're just yep, you're keeping your distance from the runway, flying whatever that is. Kind of like you imagine a, a line on the ground of what you want to fly, and that's what you fly. And you can also like look at the runway and perceive how far away you are from it. Keep the same distance. We're creeping in just a little bit, I think, but we're doing better than last time because last time it was just pushing us out the sea. So let's get a like maybe just a little touch the other direction. All right, so carpet, gas, undercarriage is fixed gear mixture, prop, seatbelt switches. Alright, this time I think we'll get a stab at the landing. Okay, we'll turn base now. Homer traffic, 2 3 uniform, turning base, or uh, down on the base, runway 4, Homer. So I bring that power back. I'm still going downhill. But I'm starting to lose that energy descending. And now we're on base. The good thing about being lower at a correct altitude is now we can see the entire final. That is the most dangerous part for another airplane, okay? So this is a nice visual scan of whoever it may be there that's not talking on the radio for us to for us to get out of their way. Homer traffic, Q3 uniform, turning final, runway four. Okay, turning final. Kind of creeping over that way. See the wind's kind of holding us back from getting there. Okay, this is pretty stabilized. We're maybe slightly shallow, but 
I can add in a little bit of power and keep us shallow. We're trending the right direction. But here come those deliberate steps. We're on our stabilized approach like we talked about, right? You see, this is stabilized as can be in this wind. And then here's that burn off. So I'm gonna pull the power. I want you to be with me on the controls, okay? So now we're burning off the energy. Now hold the pressure. Hold it, hold it. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So next time uh, we do that, be a little bit more loose on the controls with me. Like I do want you to add the pressure, but don't like lock yourself in. You know what I mean? You're strong. Good job. Okay, let's do a full takeoff. So it's all yours. We're resetting and we're just taking off. Homer traffic, two, three, and a form. Uh, take off, runway four, stay in the pattern. Are you enjoying this video and want to learn more? We have an entire library of structured videos on angleofattack.com. We call this online ground school and it's how you'll ace the written test required by the FAA. It's go at your own pace and all accessible right now on any device. Go check it out yourself or recommend it to your friends. Now, back to the video. Okay, we have a little extra speed. We want to be nice and like loose on the controls. Like we don't want to tight grip it too much. We're doing good though. So this is nice and stabilized. This feels good. I'm going to be with you on your hand, okay? I just had a little burble there of wind. But here's where I start to pull the power out. Eyes down the runway. We're burning out the energy and hold it off. Good job. Look at that. Do you know even know you touched down? <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> that was so weird. You like flared to the perfect time, just like boop. <laughs> that was strange. Okay, and you can go. I've got everything cleaned up. Good. Nice and loose on the controls. I'll be under with the power with you. Feels pretty good because we're right at 70. I'm maybe a touch less power. Okay, about 20 feet. I'm pulling it back. I'm burning out the energy. I'm looking down the runway. Now I'm trying to hold it off above the runway. Okay. You see how right there just kind of quit and fell and we bumped and yeah. nothing was harmed? That's a fine landing. All right, we'll want to put the flaps up. Go ahead and do that yourself before we go again. And it's push. confusing because like up is down. I know. <laughs> push that down though, like really well. Make sure it clicks. Okay, it's clicked. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, go ahead. All right, here on the power with you again. Yeah little fast so we got seven miles per hour extra right here where we get these little burbles from the wind it's kind of nice to have a little extra speed see how it kind of pushes down for a second but you you kind of use the power to make micro adjustments so here we are we don't need to look at the power anymore power all the way back now you're holding it off keep holding a little less a little bit more a little bit more wow that was nice. You know what you did? Or it's just you were just getting coached and you didn't know how it worked. But it just happened by chance. Seemed like you held it off pretty well. Yeah, a little did you, bit. Did you feel like you had a good perception of where we were? The touchdown and everything? Yeah. That felt natural? Okay. That's what I want to know. Alright, let's go again. Yeah. Feel okay going again? Yeah, we do on final here. Nice and stabilized. Uh, and number traffic, five one Dingo, just in the, uh, I think we're going to need a little bit of power. Uh, 
Okay, got the ball in sight. Looks like I'm a little ahead of you here. I'll try and zip out of your way, ball. Do you got me in sight here? I'm uh, about to turn final. Yep, got you in sight. Okay, here. so now you. I'm and pulling the power back is turning final for and start to hold her off. So there's the burn off. Now you can get a little bit lower and keep the hold it off. Hold, hold, hold. Oh my gosh. You are taking secret lessons somewhere else. No, I'm else. not. You are. I'm going to look at your logbook later. I promise you'll find nothing. Okay. All right, let's do another. Okay. Homer traffic, two, three, four, I'm on the roll, runway four, staying in the pattern, Homer. Very nice. A little late. I like how shallow it was, but just slightly late. Don't worry, I still do it. Okay, I'll be with you here on power. We'll see how this feels, though. I think it's a little too like close to the start of the runway. I'd like it a little further down. Right there feels nice. Just a touch of power. Okay, now gradually start walking the power out, pull it out, and hold it off in that burn off. A little too high. Okay, pull the power out. Let her down. See how it's like a smooth this to that sort of thing? I think you're getting it. A little bit, yeah? Yeah, I think you are. Okay, let's do one more. the lights at the end. Okay, now power all the way out. Hold her off. A little lower. Hold her off. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to get on the brakes. Just because we got, that was an amazing landing. That was all you two. Awesome. Yeah, I was like, this. Yeah. But that's it. Here, let me get around here. Homer traffic, two, three, and four. Very quick back taxi to Bravo North. We got you in sight. Yeah, that was a very nice. You have, you have a knack for judging that height above the runway. I think, yeah. which I don't, don't think you're a prodigy or anything. But I don't know if I've experienced that before with a student. Today was super fun. Was it? Yeah. Good. The cool thing about the pattern is it is like very busy flying. You are flying a lot. You're not just like aiming somewhere and kind of get bored like it's lots of stuff all right guys i hope you really enjoyed that video with sienna extremely interesting because she is rocking it in this particular case i always expect the students will i guess kind of regress and have trouble later but she's just doing really well flying the airplane and i'm i'm very happy to see that all really cool stuff hope you guys enjoyed it and make sure to like this video if you liked it if you did enjoy it Make sure to subscribe to stick around. And of course, you guys know you're not going to get these videos unless you hit that notification bell. And I know so many of you watch these videos and you aren't subscribed and you don't have that notification bell um, selected. So you get a uh, notification when we release a new video. Thank you for being here. Fly safe. And until next time, throttle on. <laughs>